So as I said, I have a full face of Oma Beauty on from the foundation to the concealer and the bronzer stick and more. Make sure you guys swipe up to get your Oma Beauty products now available at Boots so we can be snatched together. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to the Plastic Fam. Welcome to the Plastic Universe. My name's Gary, if you don't know, aka the Plastic on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, everything you want to be on. Today's video is super exciting. It's, it's something that means a lot to me because you guys know a bitch loves fragrance. I, I love to smell good, I love to look good, I love to be a bad bitch. Period. Um, and this is long overdue because I did, which you can see over there, I did um, a fragrance video maybe about less than five months ago. So since then I've gotten... I've had a lot of fragrance. So guys, I want to talk to you about my updated fragrance. So if you guys want to see the last one, I'll, link, I'll put the link to that in the below. But we need to speak about the new fragrances, baby, it's for... We need to get it popping. So if you want to see what fragrance is smelling, locking, pop, locking, and rapping, keep on watching. <laughs> Not me having lipstick on my teeth. Girl, you said it's talking about you. What's going on? Anyway, so guys, you guys know I love fragrance so much and I've received and bought a lot of fragrance. I'm gonna say which ones are gifted, which probably are most of them. And I bought some of them myself. You guys know, I just love fragrance. Um, I think to me, I just love smelling good. And I love that smells can literally remind me of somewhere I've been. And yeah, let's just get into it. So the first one's by Byredo. They sent me this and actually, the, they've got a few, actually I can't speak about that one because that one's now yet. <laughs> okay. But anyway, this one is called Young Rose. And this is one of their latest ones. This came out maybe like a few, a few weeks ago. Let me spray some into the cap so I can just remind myself what it smells like. Let me spray it on my skin. This is really, really nice. It's not my most favorite Byroda fragrance because it is, it's what's called Young Rose. You know, it's never a lot of rose. Let me read you the notes. So this is an Eau de Parfum. Um, the notes of musk, Sicilian pepper, amaret seeds, and obviously rose. Um, Damascan rose, a misc of musk. So it's quite musky. It is nice. And I feel like I would wear this if I was going to like a dinner, if I was going out in the evening. I wouldn't wear this as a day fragrance just because of the musk and the rose. It is very sexy. For me, it draws on the feminine line, but it's also can be unisex. This is super nice. Um, again, I would, I'd mix this in with a bit of Tom Ford tobacco vanilla. If you guys want a layering video, I can do that, but I would pop up, probably layer something like this with more of a tobacco, something quite leatherish just because of the musk, but it is super beautiful. And I, ugh, I'm just a stock of a packaging. Byredo have the most beautiful packaging. Okay, so we're keeping it in the Byredo family. We're gonna go into this next one, which I was actually sent by them as well. And this is called Blash. Blash? I'm not sure what this is called, but anyway, let me spray this on myself because I just know. Okay, so this for me is not one of my favorite fragrances and it's nice, but I wouldn't gravitate towards it. This for me, I would wear if I was like, after gym fragrance, if I was going out for the daytime, if I was running errands, I wouldn't use this for dinner. It's very much a daytime fragrance for me. Let me read you the notes. So this has notes of aldehyde, rose, um, um, peony, violet, musk, and sandalwood. Okay, so when they sent this, they sent it with, why is my phone dropping? They sent it with um, a washing up powder, a t-shirt, and a, um, a spoon. This to me smells so fresh. It's probably the most freshest fragrance I, oh my God. Why does that keep happening? Bah, get out, get out. So this is very fresh. Again, if you like that fresh linen, white sheets, crisp, smooth. You will love this. Like, it's, it is, mm, the more it warms up my skin, it does smell beautiful and it is a beautiful fragrance. But for me, I, I'm gonna keep it because it's something I can spray if like I have guests over or if I, wanna, if I wanna smell really fresh and nice and just clean. Cause sometimes I do wanna smell like that. But you guys know I love to smell dark, sexy, woody, musky, sandalwoody, tonka beanie. I love that kind of vibe. But this, for all my people that love to smell just fresh, cute and very simple, this is for you, okay? Okay, I'm so upset because I had a new Tom Ford one, but because I'm sorting out my beauty room, I think it's like somewhere on the couch there because, child, if you guys could see the mess right there, it's, 
so crazy. But anyway, the new Tom Ford, the, um, it's a perfume. And um, it's a, is it a perfume? Yeah. It's the ombre leather. I can't find it. But it's so stunning. Like, I like the original. It's the ombre leather perfume. Gorgeous. It's actually less intense than the original one and it can be worn by a female i think because the original one is a bit too masculine we need to speak about the newest fragrance that i've got from pen Halligans. if you guys don't follow my instagram please follow me because i'm very much active on there because um it's it's, it's just one of my main social media platforms other than youtube and tiktok and whenever i do unboxings i do the one on there so the newest one it's, it's the packaging for me this is by pen Halligans how beautiful is this like look at the detail like how gorgeous is this like what in the reindeer flipping deer is going on i'm not sure what it is but child it's beautiful and like a little look quirky and so anyway i have received a pen hagen's fragrance before it's called cairo and i do like it but I just felt like I've heard so much words about Penhaligans. I was like, let me just go in there. Let me just go in there. Actually, it was by chance. I was in Southridges. They've got a stand there. And I was just saying to the girl, oh, have you got anything that smells quite sweet, but sexy, but dark? And she was like, she, she, she showed me two. And I actually took pictures of them. But this one stood at the most for me. And this is by um, Penhaligans. And it's called Constant. So let me just, let me spray it first. Because child, um, beautiful. So, okay, the notes are... Pimento, cardamom, the top notes, the heart notes is salted caramel, guys. Base notes are cashmere in, tobacco and vanilla. Guys, if this is not my, my fragrance, fragrance that I don't know what it is. It smells so good. I haven't felt this way about a fragrance since Dior tobacco color. And we can see how she's, she's actually, oh, she's coming down. I need to start spraying her. So this to me is like another version of Dior tobacco color. It doesn't smell the same, but oh, you can smell the salted caramel, you can smell the vanilla, you can smell the tobacco. It's basically like a sweet tobacco, vanilla, caramelly shade. It's really cute. I love it. Again, I mix this in. I love this by itself, but I do love to mix it in with my Tom Ford. Wears well, packaging's really nice. I might have to get it optimized up because I'm not sure if I'd travel with this because the packaging is kind of bulky. It's really, really nice, but the packaging is what makes it look beautiful. But I love, love this. This I mentioned in my last one and they actually sent me another one. And this fragrance, every time my friend Danny wore it once, wore it like we went to a press trip. And I've, I've, I've actually sprayed it before, but you know when you smell out other people, it's like, wow. I think because I spraying it so much, I became desensitized to it. And when he had it, I was like, what have you got on? And he was like, back her up, 540. Guys, I got a full bottle. Like, I'm not even gonna spray it because guys, this is expensive and this is 100% worth it. I don't even need to explain about this because you guys already know back her up, 540. This is stunning. This to me has such, it's such like, a particular smell that whenever I smell it anymore, I'm like, yeah, you went back around, you went back around, you went, you went back around. I feel like it's becoming such a TikTok bait fragrance where you just know when someone's wearing it, but it's such a beautiful fragrance. And I just feel like he actually does so much, much more other fragrances that I want to try. I want to try Gender Fluity. Is it called Fluity? Gender Fluid? Oh, I'm not sure what it's called. I want to try an, an the Oud one. So I'm definitely going to smell them before, you know, I cut them. But yeah, if you guys have any other fragrance like recommendations while you're watching this, please hunt them down below. Because if you guys kind of know me, what I like, I like it dark, sexy, sweet. And my top, my top notes are Tonka Bean, Vanilla, Musk, you know, just the vibe. Okay, the next one is a very new one, which I haven't worn much of because I actually kind of forgot I bought it. Ew, Michelle. Um, I went to Chanel because I was, I, you know, when I'm on Instagram, I love to explore the explore page. I just, I just love it because sometimes I'll just find amazing, cool people. And then I look at like what fragrance I got and I'm like, oh, okay, let me save it to my album, okay? And so anyway, there's this girl and she actually posted this fragrance and I was like, let me smell it. So after I went to her baby show, I actually popped into Harvey Nichols and then Chanel, actually, Chanel have limited edition perfumes, kind of like the Dior and like Armani range, which I didn't know. And the fragrance she posted, I didn't like it. It smelled a bit too, it just smelled a bit, you know, not very me. So I got this one, this is called Chanel Beige. Let me show you it. Like the oh, the packaging is just so minimalistic and so beautiful. I love it so much. This is not cheap. Um, how many mil is this? This is 
75 mil and I think it's 160 pounds and I actually bought this with my own money. Oh. 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 But anyway, let me spray this. This I need to just I need to get the get the feel what it smells like again. Oops. Ah! What in my eye? This, this smells smell. strong. Hold on. For me, this is such a different fragrance of what I would go to. This to me smells like Oh. She's just that, she's just, she's that girl, but you just won't, you won't catch her being that girl anywhere. She's just somewhere different. Like, she's like in Central Pay. She's at, she's just, she's just not, she's not in your, she's not, she's just not an ordinary, she's that girl, but she's not that girl. Do you know what I mean? Like, you'll see her somewhere mad, like, I don't know, you'll see her in Switzerland doing a madness. Do you know what I mean? But, oh, so pretty, so gorgeous, so. This has intense hawthorn, dresia, it has fragapani, and it has honey eyed notes. I'm not sure where I can see the notes, it's not really breaking the notes down for me. This says floral sweet, fragapani, freesia, honey, and hawthorn. Those are the notes, but what I would say is it's quite sweet, almost floral, but I think the honey notes kind of gives it what it kind of, what it's kind of, kind of giving me. Stunning, very stunning. If you like Chanel fragrances, and you, uh, the thing is, I'm not a huge fan of Chanel fragrances, like number five, no, stunning, stunning guys. Okay, so the next one, I would say that like, I'm not sure if I, I mentioned it in my last one, and Kim, yeah, if you're watching, I still need to send you that, you know, that little song, 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 you know. So this one is by Replica. I'm trying to remember if I mentioned it in my last one, I'm not too sure. This one is called Under the Lemon Tree. Um, you know what? I haven't used this much, but I'm very much a sucker for. I'm very much a sucker for. If I see someone else using it and saying it and nice, I'm gonna use it. And I, if you don't follow Sean Garrett on Instagram, he's an amazing esthetician. He knows his skincare business, and I just love his whole aesthetic. He's just such a beautiful human being. And he was saying how much he loves this, and I was like, let me just try this shit out. So I'm gonna spray it. I'm trying it out. Okay. So let me spray it on myself. This for me is one of those ones that you have to like leave on the skin for at least four to five minutes just so it can show you what she's about to do. This is really, really nice. Again, very lemony, very fresh, but I think it would layer very nicely. And I would wear this by itself for a special occasion. Wouldn't it be my everyday, but again, she's just gonna she's she's gonna be seen. Maybe not every week, maybe not every month, but she will make her feature. What is going on? Anyway, so the top notes are Lime Accord, Cardamom Essence, Coriander Essence, Green Tea Extract, Cedarwood Essence, Citrus, White Musk, and Citrus. So this is a very, I would say it is a citrus fragrance. So I don't really like anything citrus. I don't like lemons. I don't like lemon cordial. I don't like lemon alcohol, nothing lemon. This is very nice and I can definitely, definitely doesn't smell as intense as it kind of the name, but I would definitely, yeah, I'll definitely keep this. It's nice, very, very nice. And I think it's definitely good for a special occasion. And also not too pricey. Replica fragrances are mainly quite between 80 and 70 pounds, depending on what size you get. The next one is very inexpensive and it's from Zara. And this is Zara in, in collaboration with Jo Malone, which I had no idea. Um, shout out to my girl Kim, because she actually did message me about this as well. But it's all over TikTok and I had to smell it because Everyone's hyping it because if you guys don't know, Kyra on YouTube mentioned it in one of her vlogs and since then the girls have just been killing it. Spray this on here because my skin is kind of really nice. So this is very, very much me in a fragrance. I don't think it lasts that long on the skin because when I sprayed it on my skin and I got home from Zara, which was maybe about two hours, it had faded. So maybe it was just me. Um, the notes on this are pink pepper, clove, and ebony. It's got a very high rating. The bottle is very cute. I think this was 16 pounds. Very much about that. Um, again, it's very similar to the Chanel bottle, isn't it? Very similar. We've got the same aesthetic going on. This is so nice. I am gonna test this out to see if it works and lasts a long time on the skin. Uh, it's very easy to travel with. It's only 40 ml. So you, you can put this on the plane with you. Again, a very, very beautiful fragrance. And I would definitely say, if any of you guys have caught this, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any other recommendations for any other Zara fragrances, comment them down below. Okay, so, are all my last ones, um, Kaoli? They are? Oh, 
So the last focuses are all gonna be from Kayali. I have met Mona numerous amount of times and Mona is probably one of the most sweetest, kindest people, so beautiful. And she has like the most sweetest, amazing voice. And she has been, she's been killing the fragrance game. She has come into the fragrance game and has been dragging all the girls' wigs. She has just been snatching everyone's wigs and fucking the game. No, it's mm. true, it's true. Oh, and that is on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Listen, from where, oh, it is, it's just the aesthetic for me. It's the, it's the, it's just the, it's a constant, it's a constant killing it. It's just that, I don't know what the word is. She's just killing it. I haven't smelled one bad fragrance from her. All of them are really, really nice. And you will find a fragrance for you, Kaoli. I'm not sure if I spoke about this in my last one, but this is a Kaoli Sweet Diamond. Love the packaging. I have backups of this. So beautiful. Let me spray it for you. This spray, this smells amazing. Oh my God, guys, insane. 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 I just love the aesthetic. Let me just um, find the notes for you. Let me guys know in the comments if you tried any of the Kaoli fragrances. I know a lot of people do say they are pricey and I can totally under understand, but um, I think she's bringing out travel sets. I'm sure she is, she's bringing out travel sets. I know all of it's always sold out, but you can get smaller ones. This has modern floral, patchouli, amber, sandalwood, Pink pepper and bergamot, so gorgeous. I have the 50 ml, so I can travel with this. And the bottle just looks so good on the dresser. It's just, it's just so gorgeous. Anyway, the next one is by Kelly. Again, this is vanilla. I actually got a new one because I actually went to a Kelly event, which you guys would have saw in my last vlog. How big is it? Is this 100 ml? Sometimes I just have to count my blessings because this is probably one of my favorite fragrances. This is like in my top five fragrances. This bottle is just so aesthetically beautiful and it's just so I just love this is like one of my this this is my favorite Kelly fragrance like it's so nice this is vanilla and this is number 28 so this one has Madagascan Villa Vanilla Orchid Brazilian Tonka Musk Amber Patchouli and Brown Sugar you can wear it alone or you can layer it and that's the good thing about the Kelly fragrances you can layer them and I think if you go on the Kelly Instagram or Mona's Instagram she does give you fragrance tips on how to layer and how to apply fragrance in the correct way remember guys you're never supposed to rub just tap but anyway this is super beautiful I love this so much this is one of her OG ones and I didn't realize you can buy them in 10 ml 50, 100 and I think another size and I think a 10 ml is 22 pounds so I do believe she's coming out with testers kits so you can try these out but definitely try and cop the vanilla if you are going to buy one for the first time because I think everyone just loves that one just just from what I can see anyway. Okay so the next one is um, Kaoli Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Did I say that before? No vanilla. I was getting very confused. Let me spray this one. This is what I'm saying. It's the consistency. Well, me. So this is um, Vanilla Coco 21. I did, I know when she did, when she did a Zoom, she said there's a reason why they do, they, they say 21. It might be because how long it took to make, how many blends. I'm not sure, but there's a reason why there's a number. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, I'm not sure, but it's definitely something to do with that. Anyway, um, this has blends of creamy and comforting vanilla with tropical coconuts, sweet florals, Italian lemon, honeysuckle, sandalwood, patchouli. This smells like holiday, basically in a bottle. It smells so beautiful. This for me is a bit more on the sweeter side. I would definitely wear this in the day, in the nighttime. I'll probably layer this with um, vanilla or elixir. I think that's what it's called, but I like this. Yeah, this smells very fresh, sweet, sexy. Definitely can be I think it should, I think anyone can wear this, but it could be considered more on the feminine side because it's so sweet and very fresh, but I, I would wear this. I love it so much. And again, the bottle is gold. Okay, this is the last one and this is her latest launch, which is super exciting. And this one is called Invite Only. If I was a fragrance bottle, this would be me. It's kind of like honey, chocolate, I would make this, I'll be gold though. I, I wish you made this gold, but so cute. Um, I'm gonna spray this again on this because my arms are just, hold on, I think with this one, you definitely have to make it so, cause when I first sprayed it, yeah, honestly, I was like, this is a bit intense. This is like, 
intense even from the outside. Whoa, hold on, no, hold on, ho ho hold on, hold on, you know that Nicki mean. But when it settles, what I'm gonna say is if you need to bag a rapper, a basketball player, a golfer, you're gonna be doing it when you wear this fragrance because Mona understood the assignment. Oh, when this settles, it's so sexy. It smells like alcohol. Like it's so weird, it smells like a, a button. Anyway, this has got a warm elixir, perfectly blends, a base of vanilla with sandalwood, amber raisin, um, musk and patchouli, middle notes of citrus leaf, rose, scent of, I'm not sure how to say that, rose damasca, and it's got um, roasted hazelnuts and tobacco leaf glazed with a honey de Provence. This is insane. Well, even when I went to go on um, Cold Beauty, it said, 26 people have cut this today. Incredible. So sexy. My voice is going because I've been speaking for so long. But it's so flipping sexy. Like. Anyway, that was my updated fragrances. I'm really upset I couldn't find a Tom Ford one. Um, if you guys want me to do updated fragrance videos so often, please give this video a thumbs up. I know I don't normally do a lot of fragrance videos. You guys know I love fragrance so much. And I feel like this video is gonna be so long because I could speak about fragrance all day every day all day all night i said what the fuck Listen. anyway i'm going off track thank you guys for watching this video i shall see you again for another video i think i'm sure i'll upload another video but don't count on me for that but i'm gonna am. hope you guys like this video don't forget to follow me on all my socials which is at the plastic boy on twitter facebook instagram tiktok and obviously youtube and don't forget to click that subscribe button because Guys, it helps me out a lot. It just helps me out. Oh, my, my, that sounds so raspy. Anyway, have a good rest of the week, and I love you guys so much. Mwah.